Hi, my name is Tony Rumex and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a PayPal account in Nigeria. I'm talking about creating a PayPal that you can easily get paid, whether you're an affiliate, a freelancer, or whatever way you made money genuinely online. Are you? You can easily shop with your paper, your normal paper you're going to open. But in today's video, like I said, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a paper that you can easily receive money and have and also used to buy online so but before we do that if this is your first time to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit on the bell icon so you can get more helpful video on how you can do all this okay having said that let's jump right to it okay the first thing you need to do are come to google your web page just type paper for example let me just show you if you're in nigeria particularly because i am based in nigeria nigeria and you're checking out to open a paper for example like this you find out that just to show you a glimpse of what i'm talking about okay you can see this just at the top here you find out that here is showing exactly your country depending on where you are it's showing the country location which is high particularly and from nigeria and you check here you find out that this is personal there's nothing like this there is a send payment a uh, search for deal pay online how paper works so there's nothing like getting paid and this is strictly personal so but and that's for the reason why i've said i'm going to show you exactly how you can create a paper account that you can get paid easily whether you're a freelancer, an affiliate, whichever way you want to get paid online. So the secret to this is just I open another tab here, click on it and paypal.com slash Lesotho LS for short. Once you hit on that, you see it there. So I'm going to close this particular one now. Or let me leave it so that I can show you. Like I said, if you're meant to open normally, you're seeing it using by default paper.com you'll find out that this location detector will easily limit you to a personally open account so but that's not what we want to do because as a freelancer or as an affiliate marketer you would like to get paid online not being restricted to paying online that is what i mean this account means you can only use to shop online or to pay any services online but but our need is to open a business account which is you can easily get paid you see here it said send invoice sell international accept online or business solution so i want you to note this particularly that says all business solution and when you get down here it said the simpler and safer way to pay and get paid so and that's the most important thing we need here okay to do that straight away now what you'll be needing uh the first thing you come here come down here you can easily come here and say sign up okay let's just click here say sign up then it's showing you two things i didn't mean you to open by default with the location detector and you click on sign up here's the two differences that you're seeing it limits you to just individual account and you see the flag here showing your country particularly but we don't need this let me remove this okay so the first thing you do, you see personal account, you see business account. Let's hit on the business account because that's what we need. Once that is done, okay, you come down here, then you impute your email address. Okay, okay good. Then you hit on continue. Ensure your email address is complete or correct. Once you hit on that, it prompts you to impute the password for it. okay then you hit on continue and once you hit on continue say tell us about your business the first name when you're doing this kindly use your legal details that is your personal information do not change anything okay second like this okay then your legal business name your legal business name can be maybe the kind of business you do and 
and that so i'm just going to put putting just the business name here okay then you select your country okay once that is done then you impute the address you can continue on the last next line if your address is very long then the city the postal code for you to get your postal code just come here easily depending on your city if you're in um, uh, let's say lagos you just say uh we're in lagos particularly is it keja is a keja postal code and you just click on it and you can easily see the streets along the keja all those places are a keja postal code that's how you can get your postal code so in case you're finding it difficult to do that so i've imputed my postal code then your state i mean abuja then the currency preference uh what currency do you prefer do you prefer dollar of course you don't need these pounds or canadian or hero depending on the currency you you have but right now we don't have naira here so you're just going to go for the dollar then you read the terms of condition check the box agreement box agree and continue click on continue you load in once that is done describe your business um individual so priority so priority corporation partnership uh private non organized uh, non-profit organization government entity of course individual then you can just impute a, a product or service okay independent consultant or contractor independent consultant consultant management consulting okay public service that's great then you can impute a website here is optional click on continue once you're done okay here this is a very very sensitive places you need to say tell us more about you we'll confirm this information to help keep the account secure we won't perform a credit check okay just going to impute the date of birth the month the year okay the country same as the business home address is same as the business and once this is done you click on submit okay still loading Vaula we just created a paper account that you can easily get paper congratulations guys and now you're seeing there's a striking to say request or send form request by that word request or you easily see it as a get paid now and when you come to summary click on summary we just created a working paper account that you can make it easily get paid with and as well receive payment or shop online okay this is what i want to show you when you go to i just hit on summary and when you come to summary it says what available so on the normal paper without opening uh, a business paper you find you won't find this dollar available account here you won't get this so let's just do the integrity within uh, the circle i'm just going to open a new tab it says cdp confirm your email so i'm just going to confirm this my email on paper so it says confirm this email so the email is unconfirmed. They confirm. Okay. See opening. So guys, I just want you guys to follow the same blueprint on how you can do this. It's a confirm this email address. Yes. Click on confirm. Okay. Once you click on confirm, it says check your email inbox to confirm. So I'm going to the email right now. Okay. Boom. We're in. So you see it here. Service international. Um, service international. The paper. Click on please activate. Once you come here, it say confirm your email address. Hit on the click here to activate your account. So I'm just going to impute the password I used during registration. Click on confirm email. Verifying information. And good. That's just it right here. You're seeing it um very very good so guys we just create a working paper account you can easily get paid with and as well request or buy anything online so guys this is how you can easily open a paper account 
from Nigeria or some of the countries where you can't easily use uh, your default nation code due to some restriction from PayPal. So guys, we just created a working PayPal account that you can easily get paid uh, with and as well shop online. So the limit is very, very important. So the next thing you have to do is to link and confirm your debit or credit card. So ensure you just link it. To do that, it's just, uh, uh, just hit on C detail first. Once you do that, it's very, very simple. You can do this. Once you do that, uh, you see a credit card number, you impute it, impute whether it's a Visa card, MasterCard, American Express Discovery. So you do that, then the expiration date, security, and your address will by default appear here. Then you click on link. Once that is done, Here's the most important thing for that reason. Here's the reason just to show you. Um, PayPal puts a, a, a limit that is, okay, let me go to the account setting and show you. Uh, so when you scroll down here, you see limit, limit on account. Not that, meaning you can receive payment, but it has a limit of amount you can receive and as well withdraw. So in order to lift that limit, just go ahead and link your card. It's that simple. He said, for security reasons, initial limit are set on the amount you can receive, send, withdraw, and hold in your PayPal balance. It's easy to get rid of limits. So it's easy for you to get rid of this limit. We just need a bit more information to get started. What's the limit? The limit is that you, the limit is $250, meaning if you, you pay $200, it means you have, you still have a limit of $50. And if you pay the whole of $250, it means your limit has been reached. You can, that is, you can send, neither can uh, you receive. So it's very, very important. You say in a real case, there might be other limitations in place to help protect your app. So that's very, very important. Once you need to do that, you click on lift, like I just lift limit, like I said earlier. So once you hit on that, don't forget to read the user agreement. This is very, very important. Once you hit on the limit, then you, it brings you back here. You click on see detail again. Once you hit on see detail, it opens the form where you easily fill in your card, uh, link a card. So you link your card here, click on link. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for your time. If you find this video helpful, like I said, hit on the subscribe button give me a like and don't forget to hit on the bell icon so you can have more helpful and useful video like this one so do have a great day